women happiness is being able to satisfy their families mm. because for a long time they've been under this pressure mm. to get they, they have their jobs they have their security they have finance they have everything they've ever wanted but mm. they don't have a man even if they don't want a man mm. but the fact that their families friends everyone keeps telling you get married get yeah. married yeah. Even if that's why some people get married and they're not even in love. Mm. Yeah. They'd rather be in that marriage and be unhappy yeah. but know that oh yes, I'm married. Mm. Right. So for some women that that is actually happiness to them. Right, right. That's and that, and I think that, that African, I wanna bring it to you in northern Nigeria, yeah. where you're from originally. How is the dynamic when it comes to marriage, right, in this day and age? In northern in the northern part of Nigeria, it's not like you actually have a choice. Mm. It's something that is you grow up and they, you know that once you reach a, reach a certain age, you just have to get married. It's just part of you. They make you feel that it's part of you. And even if you reach a certain level in your career and you're successful, people will still find a way to tie you down and to make you feel that you, have, you haven't gotten that attained. On. You have not attained because you haven't gotten married. Mm. So. Is that really true? We leave you with these words from Nigerian-born award-winning writer, activist, lecturer and self-proclaimed feminist Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. He used her voice to say, because I am female, I am expected to aspire to marriage. I am expected to make my life choices, always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Now, marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. But why do we teach girls to aspire to marriage and we don't teach boys the same? Well, that's our show for today. Thank you to our guest, Sarah, at the Yinka School of the University of Pennsylvania. So thank good having you. you. Thank you so much for having me. And Madina, my channel from the VOA House of Service, thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you for having me. Come again. I definitely will. So, on behalf of VOA, our voices, and my colleagues, I am Oreni Tangishaka. Many blessings. Good day. Can we find